Hello and welcome to Key News at 2 with me, Christopher Rice. Here are the top stories this lunchtime. The UK's biggest ever university strike started outside Manchester University this morning. 14 days of walkouts begin over pay, equality and workloads. We need to be confident that we're going to get a decent pension when we retire or that we're going to have a proper contract or that we're going to be paid adequately for the work we're doing. February is LGBT History Month. Today in Manchester, Pride is celebrated with a rainbow flag, but things haven't always been this colourful. When I think back, I only think back in black and white. Now I see everything in colour because you've gone from shock and oppression to absolute out and everybody just being who they are and being respected. Manchester City Council has approved the first phase of a £1.4 billion regeneration project behind Piccadilly Station, which will see the city's first public park built in 100 years. The site south of Fairfield Street will see a six and a half acre park created around the River Medlock with a multi-storey car park and two new office towers. The second phase is expected to provide 1,500 homes, a hotel, retail and leisure space. Work is expected to begin later this year and could take up to 15 years to complete. That's all for now. Join us again at 3 when Zena will have the latest.